So my name is Lainey Hart. Welcome to Geek by Heart. And today we are going to talk about Into the Spider-Verse, okay? Spider-Man, Miles Morales. Let's get it. What's up, what's up, guys? My geeker, geekers, geekers. Welcome to Geek by Hi. Heart. I'm Jake. I'm Laney. And uh, we are going to be reviewing Spider-Man. Into the Spider-Verse. And I yeah. hate spiders, but I love this movie. Yeah, it, it's it's pretty much good. And of course, <sighs> for me, I love it. No, well, I enjoy it, but I don't love it. So let's talk about it. Let's get into it right now. Okay, so uh, yeah. Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Wow. Of course, this movie is, is uh, it star. It stars a uh, Sham Shamik Moore. Mm-hmm. Shamik Moore. Jake Johnson. Um, Holly Steinfeld. Please, <laughs> I don't. I don't want to pronounce the name wrong. I've been practicing. Marsha Ali. Ali. Marsha Ali. Marsha Ali. And Love Schreiber, among Love many, because there's a lot of yeah, people so that are in this people. movie. One of the directors for it is Peter Ramsey. Mm -hmm. He is the director behind Rise of the Guardians. Okay. I'm not sure if you ever watched that movie. I haven't, but I do know what it is yeah, about. It's, it's pretty It's pretty dope. I never watched all of it, but it's pretty dope. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's with this all and it's, it's really, it's, it's really cool. Oh. It's really cool. All right. So let's talk about <laughs> Yeah. Into the Spider-Verse. Into the Spider-Verse. Well, first thing first, the synopsis is basically about a teenage boy. His name is Miles. Morales. He, Miles Morales. Mm -hmm. He lives with his father, who is uh, um, who's a police officer. Mm -hmm. And lives with his mom, uh, too. Exactly. And is, um, <clears throat> he ends up being caught up in this fight to save the world from destruction from basically a parallel universe, this machine that's trying mm -hmm. to... Uh, I was about to say multiple worlds. Yeah, multiple yeah, worlds, yeah. Whatever, yeah. Whatever, colliding. And, you know, everything was thwarted by, by King Ping. Mm -hmm. Oh, know. he thwarted King yeah. Ping, I should say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. King Ping was behind the whole um, trying to mix other dimensions within, within mm -hmm. the Earth. And it's pretty much, it, I mean, it's pretty much basic. You know what I mean? It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty well thought of. The storyline is good. But you know, as usual, we're going to get into a good geek, bad geek about mm -hmm. this. But first, I'm going to ask her to go for. I'm going to ask Lane to go for a good geek, bad geek. All right, let's do it. So, so I'm really excited to talk about this movie. Mm -hmm. I loved, 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 loved it. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, first, the opening uh, montage. My good geeks, by the way. The opening montage. I loved how they gave um, a lot of thought about mixing in the Sam Raimi films mm. and also the Amazing Spider-Man films. Oh, yeah. so you saw a little bit of those things and then you <laughs> saw the intro into Miles Morales. I thought that was pretty cool. The music. Hmm. I want that soundtrack. The music okay. was so relatable. Okay. I, I, I could see, I, there was a couple times I took out my Shazam and was like, mm, I want that one, mm, I want that one, mm, I want that one. So I, I'm literally saying like, I want that soundtrack. I just was having a good time listening to the music yeah. while watching the movie. Yeah, exactly. This was one of the most stylish movies I think I've ever seen. Mm. Even as in a cartoon, I still thought it was bright, it was fast paced, it was amazing to look at. And I thought that it was a perfect medium for the plot because like, if you would have done <laughs> that same plot as like live action, mm. I felt like it would have looked a lot more like Doctor Strange. Oh, and okay. the way that Doctor Strange CGI mm -hmm. will come into the thought process of like different worlds or whatever. So, mm -hmm. but this was such a stylish movie. I love just watching it. I think you guys are gonna enjoy it too when you see it. Like I said, I'm gonna try to roll real quickly because I have a lot. Um, I loved his family. Mm -hmm. I loved their dynamic. Yeah. Um, I really appreciate that they killed Spider Man. Mm -hmm. I did not see that coming. I like that. This is how you make multiple villains work in the same movie. There were so many villains, mm -hmm. but first Kingpin was the big all bad. Mm -hmm. And then you had Doc Ock, 
And it was like a side villain, but she made sense on how they put Doc Ock in it. Then you had the Prowler. They made sense on how you put the Prowler into it. Then you had a whole bunch of other ones, that, again, that because we don't want to go so far into time. But like, they had a lot of different villains, and it made it work purposely. That like some other films are trying to do the same thing, Spider-Man 3. <laughs> Anyway, um, Spider-Man 3, okay, seriously, but like, it, it worked, and I appreciated the fact that they shot out so many different villains mm -hmm. within a plot to make sense. Okay, so that's a good geek, right? That was my good geek. Oh, so I see what's your bad geek about. Huh? I didn't have a lot. Hmm. I really did not have a lot. So I spoke about liking the death of Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I don't know if they could have done this, but I would have liked that the trailers did not allude to there being different Spider-Mans because then that death, even though I liked it, was less impactful. Because there were so many different Spider-Mans, I'm like, eh, they killed Spider-Man, but you knew there was going to be another one. And you knew there was going to be another one, so it just <laughs> kind of took away from it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I would have actually liked that the big bad would have been the Prowler. Mm -hmm. And not Kingpin. I think that because it's a Miles Morales uh, mm -hmm. story, story yeah, yeah, yeah. that would have had so much more of an emotional arc and hit yeah. as the villain than Kingpin. But with that being said, I do like how they handled the Prowler and handled everything about his characterization yeah, and yeah. plus his fate oh, as okay, well. Okay, okay, so, yeah, yeah. but I would still would have liked him to have been the big fat though. Fine. Spider Pig. Enough said. And I'm done. Oh wow! Because I didn't have yeah, a lot. Yeah, well, you know, I I, I think I shared some of the uh, some of the, 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 the feelings with you in some of your your comment your review on it. Um, so first, I'm gonna go with my bad geek about okay. um, Spider-Man. Well, first thing first, uh, I am pretty iffy about having a superhero, especially with my favorite superheroes, either with Marvel or DC. That is in a cartoon type thing, but you know, I'm not taking away from like the normal cartoons, like like the Superman or whatever the case is. But like for a movie, I practically prefer it to be real life action, knowing that this Spider-Man is a black Spider-Man, a black Spider kid, I should say. Mm -hmm. You know, I wanted to see a more live action. I wanted to to feel some sort of. Um, <coughs> some sort of connection with the actor as a spider hero mm. you get what i'm saying but watching it as a as an animated as an animated film it, it just didn't grab me as how it should but overall it was you know it was pretty good second okay. bad geek um i wasn't feeling pep, um the pig spider i, I don't know why I, I i wasn't i wasn't i wasn't getting it i feel you on that i wasn't i wasn't getting um, my third bad geek is I didn't like Kingpin design. His his design just just took away from because the thing about it is that I'm trying to grab onto the reality of the movie. Mm -hmm. But the, the design of Kingpin with his with his head just small and his body is just huge. Mm -hmm. I just didn't I just didn't get it. Okay, so and uh, so from a good geek, um, not pretty much a lot, but just a few. Um, for the, the 3D animation, uh, I think it was really, really, really well done. Mm -hmm. It was it brought a different type of 3D visuals mm -hmm. that I could actually look at it and be like, wow, this is really dope. Because it, 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 it showed a bit of 3D plus with a little bit of of 2D, 2D animation kind of thing, mm -hmm. so it was it, that really stand out, and I, I can applaud it. Um, the fight scenes were great. The fight scenes they were, were amazing. They were they were amazing. great. I like it. The action, especially with the um, with Spider Girl, it was good. I can say I give that a good thumbs up for that. Two thumbs. I Two thumbs. That. Yeah. Three thumbs. All right. Four fight thumbs. scenes. Yeah. Uh, the tone of the entire movie was on point. I love the mm -hmm. tone of the movie. It was, it, it actually blended a bit of, of, of comedy plus a bit of suspense yeah. and a little bit of action here. And you know, it, it really grappled you. So yeah, that's my good geek, bad geek. Um, overall though, <coughs> um, as I, as I stated within you know within one of my bad geeks 
I'm not really that excited about animating like superhero movies, but the and the 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 the, the, con, the design of the, the 3D animation was was pretty good. It was pretty good. I like that. I like how they you know like if they're you you see a fighting scene and you see splat and smash, but mm -hmm. it's in a 3D. 2D design way and mm -hmm. it's it's really I, I really do enjoy that. I, I enjoy the 3D animation, <laughs> but um, I just I, I I do feel differently. I think that it was fine that it was an animated movie, even though it was like Miles Morales. I like I was I was good with it because I thought mm -hmm. that if you put it that particular plot and the way that they handled that plot in mm -hmm. reality, it's gonna look it's gonna look like Doctor Strange to me. It was too ambitious for live ac action, I think. Mm, yeah. Okay. To do it well. Okay. Okay. So. And, and you know, and you know, we really have to argue about that one, the the, the pepper, the, the spider pig. Um, Who's arguing? <laughs> I don't know why they. I don't know why they did. They they could have done some completely they different. Do, they could have done like know why. a robot Spider-Man. That would have been, but they did in in the, in the anime. You know, I and guess. I didn't like that. I didn't like the anime one. I was okay with it because I thought it was different. Yeah, but yeah, it's I'm you know what the thing about it. I'm looking at it as a 3D animated movie. Mm -hmm. But when I see 2D mixed with 3D, I, I'm just it, it just pushing me away basically. I thought, and you know what, I hear you saying, I just thought that that was the beauty of it, to mix it all together mm. at the same time okay. and be successful in the way they did it. I thought it was cool. I was okay with the animated um, robot because I'm like, oh, that's a different take on, on Spider-Man. Because mm. at first I was like, yeah, that's dumb. Mm. But then, to me, I was starting start to look at it, I was like, no, that's different. That And, and it stands out, just like mm -hmm. Spider-Pig, but just in a good way, because Spider-Pig was just dumb. Yeah. Oh well, thank well, you, Simpsons. Yeah, <laughs> I think because I think that's that's when it came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In that Simpsons mm -hmm, movie. Mm -hmm, thank you, Simpsons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forever. Well, <sighs> thank you guys for watching. As usual, you can visit us at um, Twitter and Instagram. Geek um, by heart. Geek by heart. All right. Press All right. the subscribe button if you like this content to see what we got in store for you next. And we have more reviews. Are next. we coming? We we got, we have more reviews. Coming. All right. So see you on the flip side, guys. Peace out.